team. Today we're going to carry on with the theme of tennis and as you can see we're going to be doing tennis today in our back garden which isn't particularly the biggest garden in the world but you can still practice some of the key skills and today's focus is going to be on volleying. Now volleying is a very soft and a very sort of intricate technique. It's not something you'll see at the back of the court, it's something you'll see more towards the net and we've got our net here in the middle today. Now I've got my two budding volunteers that are going to be helping with us and we're going to look at a few skills to start off with that we're going to develop which will help you be a better volleyer. Okay so skill number one to help you be a better volleyer is learning to control the ball on your racket. So we're going to get our ball and the boys are going to put the ball on the strings by the frame and then they're going to roll the ball around the frame trying to keep it always in contact with the frame. So my camera lady is going to come and close yeah. up to them and see if they can do it, keeping it close to the frame like this. Okay, Bucky, you have a little go. Keep it close to the frame. Brody, you come on over here as well and see if you can keep it close to the frame as you move the ball around. That's it like that, keeping it on the frame. Gentle, fine control. Right, change direction, make the ball go the other way. Good. Okay, so we've done that really fun little exercise of just getting the ball to travel around the frame. And that's important because it's getting you to feel that real gentle touch on the racket. It's a bit like holding a frying pan and frying some onions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start to bounce the ball lightly on our racket. We want the ball to land in the middle of our strings because that's where the most control is, not on the sides where the frame is because it can bounce off and go in a strange direction. So I'm going to put the ball on my racket and I'm gently gonna get it going, and I'm just keeping the ball bouncing on my racket, no higher than that, and trying to keep it in the middle. Let's have a look at the boys. Very good. Right, watch the edge behind you. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so, number three little challenge as we're working towards improving our volleying is called the pancake flip. Now, a bit like bouncing it on the racket, but we're going to have a slight variation that we're actually going to twist our racket and we're going to bounce it on each side of the strings by twisting our hand. So we'll start again and then we bounce up and we twist. And we're still trying to keep the ball so when it lands, it goes vertically in the air. Because if our racket's on a slight angle, it will fly off to the side and we lose control. So really twist that wrist round so that you try and get the racket flat as you land. Let's see the boys. Not bad. It is hard. That is a hard skill. Okay, so that was the third exercise and that one became increasingly more difficult. If you're finding that really hard, don't worry. Go back to the basic bouncing on the strings and get more comfortable at that before you start twisting the frame. But I know for some of you budding sportsmen out there and some of you top tennis players that you may even find that not that challenging. So I'm going to add a new element to it. We're going to do string frame string oh. now let's see if i can do that string frame string frame string frame string oh that must have been my pb let's see if the boys can do it good one bucks good effort you take okay so We've had a lot of fun there, just developing those skills. And whenever you've got an opportunity and if you've got a racket and a ball, get out into the garden. And if you've got no garden, maybe find a big room that you can do it as your parents don't mind you doing it indoors. Try not to break the lights. And we're going to then now use some of those skills to move forward into some basic volleying. Now, the volleying technique. My coach, when I was a child, often used to say to me, volleying is like being punched in the belly. And it's like a small swing of the arm which stops and stops in front of you. So, Brogues and Bucks, stand up. I'm going to stand in front of the uh, net, leave the bracket on the floor, Bucks. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to stand facing the net, you just spread out a little bit, and we're going to punch forward and stop. Okay? Punch and stop. Good. Punch and stop. Punch and stop. Good. Okay? So, okay, we're going to stand now sideways, and we're going to punch. 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 Other hand braids. Good. Punch. Okay, just a little punch forward, good, all right? 
Right, so we're now going to put our racket on our hand. Not introduce the ball just yet. We're going to stand in this position, which is called the ready position. We talked about that in the first video. So our feet are both pointing forwards. Buffy, step back a little bit and back a bit and feet wider apart. Okay, so racket in the middle, holding it with our shaking hand grip. Oh, the hand racket, right, Buffy. That's it, your right hand is good. And then holding underneath the racket there like, uh, uh, like that with our other hand. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our racket to the side and then we're going to punch. And if you see my racket is flat across the net, back to the middle, ready position, side, punch, back, side, punch, back, side, punch, good. Okay, so it's time to introduce the ball. Now, we're in a small space and we may well lose the odd ball over to the fence. So make sure that you're friendly with your neighbours and don't just climb into their garden without a bit of permission. So we're going to start with a forehand volley, so using the right hand side of Brody, and I'm going to gently feed a ball up, and Brody's going to move from the ready position into a small punch, and he's trying to get the ball to gently fly back to me. What we don't want to see is the ball fly off into someone else's garden. Ready position, Brody. Ready, punch. Great volley. Ready position, punch. Good. Notice he's not swinging through with his racket. He's actually keeping the racket still as it connects with the ball, like that punch in the belly. Ready, go. Smash it. One more. Ready, go. Awesome. Swap over. Okay, ready, go. Great volley. Ready, go. Good volley. Nice punch. Ready, go. Great volley. Okay, so I've come over to this side now because I'm going to introduce the next type of volley, which is obviously on the backhand side. We call it our backhand because it's the back of your hand which leads forward towards the ball. And the forehand uses the palm of your hand as you go forward. So we're looking now at the backhand. So once again, wait there, bros. We start in the middle in the ready position. When the ball comes across, we step if we can towards it and we take one hand off the racket and we play a backhand punch, which stops and the ball should travel forwards. When you're ready, Brody. Go. Good catch. Ready? Great catch. Ready? Smashing, three out of three. Okay, so Bucky's gonna try his first backhand volley. And we're going to gently feed the ball to the backhand side. He steps towards the ball and hits it on the back of the racket. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Not Good. bad, Burks. When you're ready again, here we go. Ready position? Go. Awesome. <laughs> ready position? Go. Cheeky. Right. Three, two, one, go. Right, bro, you've got to step towards to it. Let's do that again. So you've got to step with your foot. That one. So you step towards the ball. Just show me. Yes, like that. Okay. Ready position. Step. Good. Ready position. Step. <laughs> okay. Challenge time. Now we're going to be setting this on show my homework for you as a challenge for you to do with someone else in your family or maybe a brother and sister. Now at the very start of lockdown, Andy Murray set a 100 shot volley challenge. And him and his wife locked down in their garden, were doing it in their garden and they filmed it. And if you watch them, they didn't find it that easy. So it'll be amazing to see if any of you can actually do 100 consecutive volleys. That means without a bounce and without a double hit, just one at a time volleying backwards and forwards. So Brody and I are going to have a little go at it. Now, what we'd like you to do is to email us your videos and I'll put a link to the uh, email in the description below. Or if you want to, you can send that video to our Butehaven PE Facebook page. But I'm looking forward to seeing who can meet that 100 volley challenge. Brody, if it's 100 volleys, how many volleys is that each? Um, 50. 50, okay. Are you ready? So come a little bit towards the center. Ready, go. Oh. Well, we got to three. So it's really important when volleying that your volley is soft enough that your partner can return it. Because if you whack it at them, they've got to react to it. Ready, bros. Okay. Another critical point to work on is that when you volley, if you can volley to your forehand of your partner, they'll find it easier rather than to their backhand. Here we go then. Okay. Our record so far is three. Here we go. Still three. I 
Okay. On our toes, ready position. Whoa! We got to four. Ready? One, two. Okay, right, Bucky, your turn. Come on in. Ready? No, forehand or back, but I'm going to try and aim to a forehand. Ready? Go. Whoa, not bad start. We got four touches. Ready? Here we go. Not bad, but they were good. I've seen your challenge, 100 shots. And when you're going for 100 shots, you need to bring out the big guns. Come on down, my partner. It's Mrs. Ray. Okay, here we woo, go. Woo. <laughs> Ready, counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven. We'll start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, wow. 13. I was 13. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh. Okay, so I know for some of you, you'll have your brothers and sisters or mum and dad, and you might have a couple of rackets at home. But if you haven't got two rackets and there's only you, you can still practice your volleying and all the things I've shown you using a walk. And you can still have a go at the Andy Murray 100 volley challenge, but you've got to do all the volleying. So let's see, using a wall, if I can do the same. Oh, 22. Not bad, but it's pretty challenging. Can you make the 100 challenge? Okay, so. We've been looking at volleying today, and when we look at volleying, we can compare volleying in a component and fitness to one of our key principles in components of fitness. Can any of you remember what that might be? I'll give you a moment to think. That's right, it's coordination. Coordination is the ability to coordinate two parts of your body at the same time, such as our eyes and our hands, and tracking the flight of the ball, meeting it in the air, and sending the ball back over the net. So we need to look now about where volleying is most likely to be seen, okay? In tennis, obviously the court's not normally as spacious as this one, but we tend to find that volleying is done at the net. It's an attacking shot where the player will come to the net, hog the net, want to be able to create a psychological advantage against their opponent so that their opponent has to try and pass them at the side or go over the top. And that's a hard skill to do in tennis. And if they can't quite do it, you're there ready to attack and hit the ball down into the floor. When we volley, we can create incredible angles because we're close to the net, the ball can go sideways rather than perhaps going forward and backwards, which you tend to see in a rally. So when you're ready, bros, I want you to throw me the ball there. <laughs> <laughs> Beat him. Beat him. <laughs> yeah. Let's try it this way. Beat there. the eight-year-old. Okay, to summarise, the key teaching points of the volley. Start in the ready position, holding the racket with both hands. And when the ball comes towards you on your forehand or backhand side, is then to make sure you're only holding the racket with one hand. Step towards the ball with either foot. And when you're there, we're doing a small swing to a stop position, like punching in the belly. Here, stop with the back of our hand, punching so that the ball should hit your racket when your racket is still. We're not swinging through the ball, which creates an uncontrolled shot. The volley is about changing the angle of your racket to a nice diagonal angle, and that will make the ball go sideways, and that will be harder for your opponent to return it. So go practice, upload your videos, and let's see how you do in your 100 shot volley challenge.